Hi friends, this is Dainty Tank. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to I Am Feeling Things, a uh, short VN by Alicia. This is on the Queer Games Bundle 2024. Um, link is down below if you want to get it. Um, definitely highly recommend. So <laughs> this stood out a little bit because it was looking cute, gonna be honest. And uh, I just wanted to show you, it says run gay date. Run gay date. So we're gonna play this. We're gonna run a gay date. All right. I am feeling things. Okay. Tiny lesbian date. All characters above the age of 21. Controls! Arrow. Yep. That makes sense. That's what I'm using. Oh, hi! <gasps> oh, hi! Oh! <laughs> Ophelia. Hi! You okay? You. Okay. So, I'm you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry. I was just... Feeling a little bit anxious and need needed a minute to calm down. Ophelia. Oh sure. Uh, don't apologize for this. It's okay. Oh, the rain outside. Anything I can do to soothe your anxiety? Oh. Great question. Oh. Oh. Honestly, it is okay. It's just... <laughs> I've been looking forward to this day. Oh! You've been looking forward to our date? Is that what you're telling me? Ophelia. Aww, me too! Cute little lesbian date. Are they in the cafe? I should have read the description a little bit more, but... It's a gay date and I just was excited. And now we are doing it. We're here. We are actually dating each other. This is happening. This is this is a thing. Yes, we are. Uh, cr crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. When I first talked to you online, I didn't I even dare to think. We would go on a date together one day? You just caught my eye. Well, I did not expect it either. But here we are. I am happy about it. Yeah, me too. Quite a lot, to be honest. I had a crush on you for months now. Really? Oh my. <laughs> yeah, every day I would keep checking my messages, just relentlessly refreshing. And when there was a new message from you, <gasps> I would feel happy chemicals. The dopamines, the serotonin and then I, I felt similar things. You did. To be honest, I also kind of was felt kind of anxious about today. I have never felt this excited to go on a date. There is something about you. Something that makes me feel things. Gay things. I, uh, I... Dot, dot, dot. Yeah? Gay things? Oh my, I, uh... uh -huh. Did I make you uncomfortable? 
No. Absolutely not. Not one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. It was just crazy to me that you, uh... That I feel things for you? Yeah. I never thought someone like you would even bother to look at me. Oh. <laughs> Good. Oh, honey, stop. Don't talk yourself down. Yeah, don't. Just look at yourself. Look at you. You are an amazing, pretty woman. And you are talented. Snaps. Get it, Ophelia. I... Seriously? I heard your music. You are great. And I want to see you play one day. <gasps> that is such a compliment. I feel flattered and I am happy that you like my music. So, thank you. You are welcome, honey. Sweet honey bun. I gotta say, you were uh, amazingly pretty too with the gay things. <laughs> you were gorgeous. And your voice sounds so nice. Uh, even more than on the phone. Really? This is the first time that someone complimented me on my voice. Wow. I always felt very dysphoric about it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's absolutely valid. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Well, I like your voice a lot. All right, bye, cat. Thank you, uh, you were so sweet. <laughs> I could stare at you for hours. And I could talk to you for hours. Staring and talking and talking and staring. Can I info dump at you, please? I'll tell you all about my special interest. Bridges. That is so gay. Oh my goddess. Sorry? Don't be. No, don't be sorry. Get it, Alphelia. I love when you say things like that. Uh-huh. I mean, didn't we agree that we want to approach this date without expectations and take it easy? So we can make sure that we can at least be friends? Absolutely, but... I mean, uh... I don't know how to say this. Take your time! It's fine. Lydia. So we have a name. Lydia. Are you gonna tell me you wanna do the gay things with me? Y yeah? I don't wanna be your friend. I want to kiss your lips. You get it, Ophelia. I... I, I, I want to kiss you until I lose my breath. Oh, Aww. Cute. Happy date. This can't be real. It's all just a dream. They play jazz in your dreams? <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, you're just as silly as on the phone. Well, that is just the way I am. I would not want it any other way. But yeah. I would not dream of jazz music. Usually, I like to just play my own music in my head. Makes sense. Well, how about we go to my place? There we can listen to uh, different music. 
Oh my. Uh, yes, please. Alrighty. That sounds like something I would say. It's alrighty. Let's go do the gay. <laughs> this makes me so happy. That was very cute. That was a very, very cute little date. Aww. If you want, I could play some music for you at your place. I would love that. But I am afraid I won't have any instruments for you to play music on. Oh, that's fine. I brought my calculator. Are you a chiptunes person? Are you a chiptunes person? You- What? <laughs> Don't underestimate the power of a calculator. You know? Lydia's got it. It could even play jazz if you uh, would like that. J jazz? From a calculator? I know. Lydia is that powerful. I think I have enough of that. Now. I want more of uh, you. Can I, can I still play music for you? Absolutely. Just no more jazz, please. Sure thing. I'm feeling, uh, things. Yeah. I am feeling things too. Gay things. Yeah. Very gay. <laughs> Made by Alicia. November 2022. That was cute. I do believe that this person has quite the catalog of things in this uh, Queer Games bundle. You should definitely check it out. Speaking of check layout, I think the sequel is here? Yeah. So, I'm feeling things too. Um, yeah, controls. After they go back to their date, from their date. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, um, Lydia is trans. That's awesome. So I'm- th that was short, so I'm just gonna play- I feel- I am feeling things too. And follow Lydia and Ophelia back to, uh, the very game time. Okay. I am feeling things too. Lydia, wow. That was- so good and so intense. Good. I'm glad you guys had had your gay fun. You. Yes. Okay, so now we're Ophelia. Okay, got it. Yes. I loved every bit of it. You're so good. Aww. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. What are you doing, sweetheart? Oh, you're already in pet names? Look at you. Sweetheart. Oh, hmm. I'm looking for uh, my panties, actually. Have you seen them? Oh, sorry. I was sitting on them. Uh, here you go. Thanks, darling. Aww. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just looking at you. You're so pretty. <laughs> Your body makes me feel very gay things. You are gorgeous. B but, 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 ah! Oh, body this for ya. Just stating that undeniable truth, Lydia. You're goddamn gorgeous. <laughs> Your body is amazing too, though. Uh, you're, you're gorgeous. You're the gorgeous. <laughs> oh my. Thank you very much. I might be blushing now. Good thing. <laughs> you are pretty when you smile and blush. Like this. Ma'am, this is very homosexual of you to say. <laughs> yes, and in case you didn't notice. 
We are homosexuals. <laughs> we are homosexuals. We are homosexuals indeed. We are we are the homosexuals. Mm-hmm. Da da dot. Are you okay, sweetheart? Yeah yeah, I mean uh hmm, I uh Take your time. Yes. Hmm. What I mean is, uh I think I'm feeling things for you, Ophelia. I'm feeling the things. And it and it's not just sexual, I mean, yeah, mm hmm Yeah. Oh, honey. Sorry. <clears throat> oh honey. I have feelings for you too. Very strong ones. Yeah. <laughs> you you do? For real? For realsies. I didn't think you would love me in real life. Oh come on, honey, of course I do. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my fucking goddess. <laughs> you can call me Ophelia. Wink. Wink. <laughs> oh, you. You. I'm going to be straightforward, though. You can't be straightforward. There's nothing straight about you. We're homosexuals. We already set that up front. Nothing straightforward here. You're very bad at it. Well, I mean... Queer forward. Yes. Yes. Thank you for making the joke. I love it. Yes. Good job, Alicia. And I think Velvet, who also did this one? Yeah. Y yeah? I want you in my life. That is such a hot queer line right there. Just looking at someone and just dead ass looking at them and saying, I want you in my life. Yes. Oh, uh, Ophelia, I... I already am, am I not? Oh, you missed it, Lydia. Yes, but... Now I can say, I love you, to your face. And it feels so right. And so much better, too. It's totally different from texting you, love. Uh, move into love as a nickname? You're upgrading from sweetheart. Look at that. It's a whole different level. Your eyes, your skin, your breath. I can't. I can't. I, I feel the same way. Uh, you were so important to me. I love you. They just had the first time they were meeting at the cafe and then suddenly they are saying I love you after going home together. They are totally U-Hauling and that is absolutely fine. You are allowed to U-Haul. The only thing is I think we missed the trauma dump somewhere. It might have been in the lead up to the front first date though. So I think we might have missed the trauma dump there. But yeah, totally U-Hauling. Yay, giggles. <laughs> Uh. Da da dot. Huh? Da da dot? What is it? I can see that you want to say something. Um. Does this mean that you are my girlfriend now? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's what. <laughs> yes, that's what that means. Are we girlfriends? Well, yeah. We are girlfriends now. Oh my goddess! <laughs> you are such a gay mess! Gay disaster. Disaster gays! For days. I love that about you. I am so happy. Me too. I can tell. You're doing happy stims. Oh, 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 so Lydia is both trans and autistic. 
I love that. I love that. I love that. Okay, stims, when we're talking about stims, um, generally it's from a neurodivergent standpoint, which is basically... Um, actually, oh, my foster kid actually gave me a great analogy for this. Anybody who has ever had a shiver has had a stim. It's effectively your body is trying to regulate itself in some way. So, like, even though you feel a shiver coming on, you can't really... You generally don't stop a shiver, but if you do try to stop a shiver, your body doesn't like it. It's just kind of like a body regulation thing. Stims are body regulation. It's just, instead of us shivering, we, we show different body regulation pieces that just need to happen. And happy flaps are definitely a big thing. Happy flaps. I do some happy flaps sometimes. Um, I'm autistic. Hi. <laughs> Thus the whole trains. Oh, and I made that joke about the trains. Let me info dump. <gasps> yes. Oh. Oh, music is totally your tism. You are totally a music guy. Uh, music. Uh, music tism. It's awesome. <laughs> of course you've got godlike powers with just a calculator. <sighs> Amazing. The whole thing about, like, autistic people is that it's not like we are, it's a disability if you look at it from the lens of Western capitalism, right? Which is basically cishet white guys, in which you're able to then, like, say that they don't fit the mold, and it's true. However, if you actually took the time to have autistic, uh, autistic individuals put into a space in which they are able to thrive and not hide their stems and not mask, then they're able to actually do so much with themselves, honestly. Um, one of the biggest things is, you know, since we are in a capitalistic society as is, there is no autistic person who hasn't experienced trauma. So we're just kind of living with tra traumatized autism, autism right now, which sucks. But if you give them the capability to focus solely on the thing in which makes them happy, makes them thrive, they are just going to be the most epic person in that field, period, ever. And so many of autistic individuals aren't able to make a living off of their special interests because it's, it's either too niche or too much for people or doesn't fit the capitalism and society's, like, bar for what they want, which sucks. Because, I mean, look at Lydia and her music. Like, can you make music from a calculator? No, I can't. And if you can, bravo. I'd love to see. Please drop a link. But specifically, impressive. Anyways, sorry. There was my info dump. Back to happy stims. And so are you! Oh, happy stims! <laughs> okay, both tisms. Oh, I, I have an idea. What is it? Let's do a tarot reading! Oh, yes! A tarot reading. You can do this. Of course! I'm a little bit of a witch. You get it, Ophelia! Wow. <laughs> You're a witch? That's so cool! Yes, indeed. I guess so. Let me get my cards and show you. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute of like, let's have a date and then let me read your tarot. It's just precious. Have you found your cards? Not yet. Oh, I have to go over here. Here's my deck. Perfect. Got it. <laughs> So this is your tarot deck? Yeah. Yeah, got that right. Okay, how's it work? This is quite simple. First, I'll shuffle my cards. I want this reading to be simple. So I'll only be using major arcanas for this one. Also, we'll draw a single card. Oh, okay. During this time, Ask a question to my cards. What kind of question? 
any question. It can be personal. It can be about us or about the world. It can be about your worries or joys. I think I get it. How about... How about us? What will become... What will we become together? What is our relationship going to be? Perfect. Thank you. Now that my cards are shuffled, pick one. Any card? Any card? All right. Here goes nothing. No. Here goes everything, Lydia. If you want it to be meaningful, you have to make it count. Intent is what witchcraft is all about. Intent, you say? All right. I'll pick this one. Good job, Lydia. Good. Let's see what card you picked. The lovers. Oh, how symbolic. The lovers? <laughs> What does it mean? What's funny about it? I can't believe how obvious this reading is going to be. Uh, this card, the lovers, is quite literally here. Literal here. Um, it tells us that we are indeed in love. Um, uh, our relationship is going to grow to the next level. We're gonna level up. This is <laughs> this announces a deep and lasting love between us. This reading is full of positive feelings. I am so happy about it. Wow, yeah. Now that you mention it, this is quite literal. The art speaks by itself. There's a blonde character in the middle getting the attention. The two characters around them are arguing about something. Or maybe even given a giving advices they're probably telling the middle character to speak their feelings out and the cupid above them is the symbol of falling in love exactly you are good at reading a card i just described what i saw yes but it's an important part of the tarot reading I can tell that you also have the eye of an artist. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that was cute. So what do you think? This is so interesting. I hope this reading is right. I want our relationship to grow strong and healthy. Yes, me too. I really want that. I love you, Lydia. I love you too, Ophelia. You know what? I want to learn about witchcraft. Teach me witchcraft. I would love to teach you, honey. Oh, really? Well, of course. I bet you would make a good student. Uh, I, uh, I mean, yes, please? <laughs> you are such a mess. I love it. You are so precious, and I am happy to be your girlfriend. And so are you? You're my precious gay witch. And you are my precious gay nerd. I am feeling things. I am feeling things too. And I want to make out and do the things again. Okay. I didn't dare to say it, but yes, please. I am feeling things too. A Gay Date by Velvet. 2022. Original idea and characters by Alicia. Good job. Great job, team. This was cute. Okay. That was it. The end. It swung back around. I think this is a fitting end. 
And again, there's more to these stories. There's actually a little bit more to the story in the background than like a couple other pieces. Feel free to check it out. The Queer Games Bundle link is down below. You can get it for as little as $10. I highly recommend it. I always talk about it every Pride Month. But again, I love you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye. If I can do that. Thank you.